How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be going over what if name is equal to main does and why we should use it and hopefully at the end of this video I will have convinced you that it is very necessary for our code and it's actually very simple so let's dive right into it and you might have noticed that when you're creating a new PyCharm project you get this boilerplate code which says print high and it even includes the if name is equal to main line of code. And this is because it's just a very good practice, if not the best practice you can have when you're running code in Python. And just to quickly explain what it does, let's go ahead and create a new Python file. And here we're going to go ahead and call it sample package. So it's just a new sample package. And inside here, we're going to create a function that's going to say uh, do something and we're going to print hello. Now, of course, we want to go ahead and also test it. So if we go here and type in print hello, and we run this program, you're going to notice it's going to say hello. So now that we have a package that's actually working, we can go to our main file and get rid of all of this. And we can go ahead and import the sample package. And to use the sample package, of course, all we have to do is call the sample package and the function that we want to use. And with that being done, let's go ahead and right click on main and run main. And you're going to notice that we're going to have hello printed twice, even if we just wrote it once over here. And that's because when we import a package, it also invokes all of the code inside the package, which is not a behavior that we actually want in our program, because this can mess with variable names, this can mess with amounts and can just cause undefined behavior in our program. So what we really want to do is go ahead and check if name is equal to main and PyCharm has a quick way of doing this, you just type in main and tap on enter, and it creates this placeholder for us. So we can actually insert this into this line of code. And now it's going to check that if the name is equal to main, it's going to print hello, which means if this is the current file, it's only going to print hello if we run it directly. So if we run the sample package, it's going to run it and it's going to print hello. But if we run main, it's not going to do it anymore because this is not the package directly. So this will only run if it's the package directly. And it's important you do this in all the files that you're planning to run. So if we go here and type in main, we're going to get if name is equal to main and we can go ahead and paste this inside there. It's also a nice sign for the person reading the code that this is a file that you're supposed to run and you're going to get this green arrow as well, which makes it very convenient to run the code. And it just makes sure that we're running the code that we actually want to be run. So again, with sample package, as you noticed, it's not going to run that because now it only checks that name is equal to main and any file that you're running will be called main. Even if it says sample package here, as soon as you tap on run, it's going to set the name to main. So it's only going to run this file. So that's essentially the main reason we use if name is equal to main. It's just to make our code a bit more concise and to make sure that we don't mix up variables and functions and run code that we don't want to run when we're importing packages. And everything else works as normal. You can go ahead and type in say hello, and that's going to print hello. And then you can go ahead and just use it inside here. And actually I want to change this to hello world so we get something different. And when we click on this over here, it's just going to run the code that's inside here, making sure that this will only be run if we're directly running it in the current file. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.